Hey guys, I just got done tinting my eyebrows and I realized I should probably tell you about it and tell you how to do it because it's not hard. You can order this stuff online, you can do it at home, and it is just a great treatment that you can do very quickly on yourself that allows you to skip a step in the morning so that you don't have to fill in your eyebrows or if you have your brows microbladed, it just enhances the look. And lastly, if you have some blonde hairs coming through, um, it sometimes works for, for those. So I'm talking about gray hairs, but but if you do have those kind of pop through and so you have eyebrows, but because they're light, you can't see them, this is a great option for you. And it just looks super natural. Um, I mean, I think it does. I just did them. Like I just did my eyebrows. It does adhere to your skin just a touch. And I'm gonna show you what I use and it, I dropped it on the floor, so I'm gonna grab it. Um, this is the brand, it's called Intensive. You can order it online. I use medium brown because I think that when you take a step down in your color, instead of using, for instance, instead of me using brown, um, you get a better result. It looks less harsh. So if anything, you want your brows to be just a pinch lighter than your hair color. And I do have balayage like so many people do, but um, I was trying to kind of bring it to look natural and match what's happening up here. Um, so this is what you get. This is the actual color itself. And a tube lasts a very, very long time because you only use a tiny bit. So this is a tube. And then you mix about the size of a pea, squeeze this into a little jar, a glass jar. Don't use plastic because we're trying to cut down on that single use plastic thing. So get a little glass jar, pick it up when you're at like Target or Walmart or whatever, and just let that be your eyebrow tint jar. Then you're going to take a couple of drops, about two to three of this, and it's the developer. So mix them together in your jar, which I did, and it looks kind of like this. I already did it, okay? And you wanna use a mascara wand. Um, you could use anything. I just find that this is really easy to work with. So maybe take your old mascara, wash off the end, cut the end off and then you'll have a mascara wand okay so that's a really brilliant way to do it and you don't have to go buy it um but you take that you mix it up and then you brush it on so i'll i'll do a little bit for you but um i always start in the arch this is how i do it if i'm doing it on myself if i'm going to do it on a client um and i kind of brush forward here it does adhere to your skin a little bit so that's why you want to go a little lighter and then um you're gonna let it set for about two minutes. Do not let it set too long unless you want your eyebrows to be really dark. So if you have like black hair and you're trying to go a little, you know, darker, first of all, you could get a darker color, but if you're kind of um, leery and you wanna be careful, then you can just leave it on longer or give yourself enough to do it one more time. Um, I sometimes do pop back in here and just put a little more on there. Lastly, you'll wanna get a wash rag, and I say a wash rag again so that you're not just like using and dumping stuff, just, you know, recycle is my thought here. So if you get a little wash rag, maybe get a black one so that the color um, isn't obvious so you don't get a white wash rag and it's like, it, it's like your painting rag is what it'll end up looking like. So get a black one so you can't see the mess and let that be your eyebrow tint wash rag. And then you get it wet, Lukewarm water's fine, it doesn't actually matter. Um, and you're just gonna kind of like push and rub it off gently, okay? And I say gently, like you don't need to like get crazy. And then what you're left with are your beautiful brows. Now, if they don't quite look dark enough, wait two hours. I'd say an hour actually, because um, you don't actually get all of the color off, so they continue to get darker throughout the day. And then, they usually end up a touch darker than you really want them to be for about 24 to 48 hours. After you've washed your face a couple times, it fades out beautifully. Um, then you're just left with these eyebrows that are, they looked filled in and if they're microbladed, they just look fresh um, and it allows you to skip a step, buys you a little bit of time and um, you feel good. So I hope that this little tutorial is something that you'll maybe incorporate. And if you do, let me know what you think about it. I'll catch you next week.